Really quick one today, guys. Last night I went to use my old Black & Decker drill and impact here, 18 volt, and it failed to function. I checked the battery really quick with my voltmeter and it ended up, it was only showing about 13 volts. And I couldn't get it to charge using the factory charger. It wouldn't do anything. It just would just sit there and I couldn't get anything over about 13 and a half volts ish. So what I did is I pulled this apart. To my surprise, when I took this apart, I found no fancy circuit boards, no nothing inside, direct connection to the batteries. And I popped these out. I didn't see anything wrong inside, nothing out of the ordinary, no leaks, no nothing. So I thought, hey, we can recover this pretty easy. Now remember, if you do this, be safe. Uh, charging a battery, especially one that's questionable, is always a little bit dicey. Just be careful. What I did is the utmost simplest approach. What I did was I set my bench power supply to about 19 volts and capped it at about 200 milliamps. And then I hooked the connections here on the battery and paralleled it up with my meter, as well as I had the power supply meter. And I just let it take about 200 milliamps for a short time. And then I disabled the power supply and checked the surface charge. I was able to get it up to 18 volts quite rapidly. So I knew it was recoverable at that stage or, or highly likely to be recoverable. It was just that the factory charger wouldn't acknowledge that this was a usable battery and wouldn't charge it. Now, truth be told, I could have kept going that way, but it's not the best. So I went ahead and hooked up my Sky RC charger. This is for my LiPo batteries. It also does lead acid everything. And just hooked it up and charged it as normally at about 500 milliamps or less. I think I might even head it down around 300 milliamps. And it charged up no issues whatsoever. As you can see now, the battery is showing about 19.9 volts. Bang on, that's what we expect to see. We've got a little bit over on the surface charge as expected. And the battery plugging into my equipment, no issues. Back in business. Super happy with that. These batteries are about 50 bucks to even buy the clone ones now, and I didn't see anything wrong inside. It had just gone too dead for the charger to accept it. So that's how I brought it back. You could do it in other ways, hook another battery in parallel with it, and just allow it to actually uh, self-balance between the two packs. Lots of ways to do it. That's how I did it. Quick little tip. Might help somebody out. Cheers, guys.